So today we are going to be discussing symmetry and and how to make perfectly symmetrical designs in Affinity Designer right after this. Hello, my name is Daniel Neds and today we're going to be going over perfectly symmetrical designs. Um, so step number one is to draw a shape. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle. It doesn't have to be a circle or it could be pen tool, um, brush tool, whatever you want. Um, but I'm just going to draw a shape or a curve and make sure that's a perfect circle. And I'm going to align it to the middle. I'm going to pull it up a little bit here. So I have this black circle here and number two, step number two is to create a symbol. And um, I have another tutorial on the symbols panel and I'll, it'll come up in this corner right up here um, if you want to go watch that. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and create a symbol. And to do that you have to click on the symbols panel. If you don't have that open, come up here to view down here to the studio and then click on symbols and since it's checked I can tell that it's open and um, so you're gonna hit this button here that says create so I'm gonna create a symbol and it pops up these are some other symbols I've created in the past on this document so it pops up with that as a symbol when you come back to your layers you'll see a little orange Thing along the side and then inside your symbol is that ellipse. Step number three is to change the rotational point. And to do that you have to come up here to this little um, rotation center, the center basically uh, the little icon and so it'll pop up and show you where that is and it's right in the middle of the, the circle so if I rotate it it will rotate right around that thing. So I'm going to go ahead and move this right to the very middle of our document. And to help you do that, you can turn on um, snapping and these things um, that will help you align it. Um, then step number four is to hit Command J. So what Command J does is it copies it duplicates it and also duplicates the action that you do after hand, after you duplicate it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees and to make it lock on 45 you just have to hit shift and it will lock on exactly 45. And so now these are exactly 45 degrees apart from here. So and then I'm going to hit command J again and as you can tell it, it copied the action and now is rotating each of these circles at 45 degrees and now it's perfectly symmetrical there's 45 degrees in here between each of these and it doesn't have to be at 45 degrees the circle is made up of 360 degrees and you probably already knew that um, so there's a bunch of different things that go into 360 um, that are all possibilities. A few are 90 degrees, that goes into it four times, 60, 45 degrees, which is what we did, and 30 degrees, and there's also 15 degrees, or you can just cut any of those in half, um, just so it can go into 360 degrees, and you can, you can uh, find out even more, I'm sure. So now that they're all around here perfectly, we can start making something cool. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this ellipse right here and I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And So from here we can just um, change stuff to make it look pretty cool. Um, as you can tell it's really easy to make like a flower or something. You just have to um, move one and it moves all of them. It's really simple, really easy to create symmetrical designs. Yeah, and also make sure 
you don't click on the symbol and change the symbol because then it won't change the rest. You have to actually click on the ellipse itself, which is inside the symbol. And that's um, just something. And then, um, so yeah, just have fun with this. And if you're actually making like a adult coloring book, this is really helpful to do that, I'm sure. Um, they're also helpful for like sort of neat logos. You can always delete this. And you still have each of these symbols to create another thing in here you just have to uh, click this button in here and it will sh show that it's been in here or that it will automatically go in there once you've drawn it so if I want to put like some text in there like a D or B you can put you can basically put anything you want in there and um, so I'm going to go ahead and stick a rectangle in there and show you something else that you can do. So this is nice for logos or something like that. It could almost look like the Walmart logo a little bit, um, just but sometimes people have cool logos. Um, As you can tell, this could be used for many different things. So it's just um, helpful in making symmetrical things. Uh, there's all, all, all there's a bunch more you can do with um, with symbols itself. You can make a mirror image, um, which is really cool too. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My question for today is if my question for today is. Do you like to color in adult coloring books? If you have one, and if you don't have one, would you like to get one? Um, my answer to that question is I I like adult coloring books pretty well. It's just sort of I need to deal with my patience. I'm sort of get tired of coloring these tiny little lines for a while, um, but I think it's pretty fun if I'm coloring with somebody else. So that's all from me today. Um, hope you guys have a great day, and please subscribe and. And please comment below if you have any questions, and I will see you in my next tutorial.